So let's see how we can test our use effect hook. Here I create again another example of a counter, but instead of clicking a button to increase it by one, I just did one simple function here with a timer so we can also test the async of it too. Um, so what it does is, so first time when you load your content, you have count state here set to zero, and then in use effect after one second, it just increment that by one. So you can see here we have two hooks we are using at the moment. We have use state and we have use effect. And then here return text, it will be, I pulled up myself and should be here displayed one and times. Okay, so how we can get this one tested? So let's go on our test. I created a shell uh, where I rendered just, um, I imported the React, I reported the render, the wait for from your text in library, and we imported our component. So as usual, we have to start first by rendering our component and we can do const and what we'll do, we'll try to find by text because that's the only thing we have at the moment and which is good about that's what actual user will interact with, okay? So that's actually we need to test. So we'll say, for example, get by text get by text and I'll say render and I'll set my component which is auto counter it doesn't have any prop and then I'll come here and I'll say find my text const get no let's say my text get by text and I'll say, for example, this is this is the text we want. So I'll just copy that. And of course, the count should be one. So first time when you render it, it have set a zero. But first time to render, it should have that count plus one. So I'm expecting to find this one by one. And let's do expect, and we'll say expect my text to be to be truthy so i want that to be true i want it to exist in my document but of course this one definitely it will fail and reason why it will not be there in the first time we have a use effect here okay and that's why it have a timer as well so we have to wait for that to finish so the way we can do that, if you remember, is that we will use the wait for. So and we have to await for it too. So we do await, wait for, and I will do render return a function, and I will put my expected behavior there. And I'll just come here and do npm run test. Let's see if that works. And again, to highlight it, we have a wait here and we have a sync here as well. Otherwise, that will not work. Your testing itself function needs to be a sync. Okay, so that failed. And let's see why. So it's saying a wait for. Okay, and I'll tell you a reason why. why. If you remember one of our previous videos is that we said for react test by text or query by text, whatever get by or query by, they are not a sync function by themselves. So they will, even if you put them inside this block, they will run by themselves. So we have to do find by text. Okay, and we do that one here and let's save it. And let's end that one.